Hello, I'm Alison Richards. I'm the chaplain at Werlow Spirituality Centre. And I'm just making a short video to show you how to access our library collection online. So I'm going to start by sharing my screen so that you can see what our website looks like uh, and then we'll go from there. So I hope that what you can see is our website uh, and at the top you can see that there's various different categories. Uh, at the moment I'm on the home page where you can see our events but we want to go to the facilities and hire tab at the top here and if you hover over it you'll see there's a drop down for library. If we click on that, you'll see there's a picture of our, some of our bookshelves here at the center uh, with some of our spirituality library. And you can see here that it's got more than 1,500 books uh, and that you can come and visit us in person. Uh, at the moment it says Monday to Wednesday. In fact, usually there's somebody here Monday to Thursday in the morning, uh, but it's always worth phoning to check uh, before you come, you're coming particularly to see the library. Sometimes if we have groups using the centre, it's not so easy to access the, the books. If you'd like to find out what books we've got and you're searching for something, then you can go to our library database. Uh, and so there's a link here where it says here that you can click on, which will take you to our online library database. And having clicked on that, you'll see that I've come to a different website. Uh, it's the Werlo Spirituality Centre uh, Libib, which is a library collection. And what's immediately opened up is the start of our collection. Um, it's gone to the Wurlo audio and audiovisual collection there, uh, where we have some items. But obviously our main collection is books. So I'm going to click on that. And there you'll see it starts uh, with an alphabetical uh, catalog. Um, it's starting here because the category is Anglican spirituality which is our first category. If you're wanting to find books on a particular topic or subject, the best way to do this is to go to the filter button here on the right. And if you click on that, you should see that we've got the, the tags down here. So all of our books are classified uh, by subjects. Uh, some of them are the subjects that you'll see in the library where we divide the books according to subject, but there'll be sub sections as well. So for example, you can see we've got one book that has been tagged with Elred of Revo. Now that will be in another section, um, but if you were interested in Elred of Revo, then you could click on this. And here we are, there's the book, Soul and Leadership, and it's a, a book in our pastoral collection of general spiritual writers, um, which will have uh, the pastoral prayer of Elred of Revo as the core part of it. So if we were looking for something perhaps a little more uh, general, we might go down to uh, Benedictine spirituality. And if we click on that, we'll see that there's 27 books there. Now, many of these will be categorized in the library as the, pro the primary category of Benedictine spirituality, and you'd look for them under B in the library. But there may be some in here as well, which come into one of our other collections, perhaps our general spiritual writing, uh, but would also be classified as Benedictine spirituality. So this is a way to, to look through that, but we can clear the tags. Uh, and if you happen to know the book that you want, you can also go and search for it by name. So for example, we could look for a book that I just added to the library the other day. Let's see what comes up when we search for that. And here it is. It's a book by Parker Palmer. Uh, it's under the general spiritual writers category. We can see that there's one copy uh, and actually somebody has taken that out at the moment. We can also see that as well as being under general spiritual writers, it is tagged as Quaker spirituality because Parker Palmer is a Quaker. And so that's how you can search for a specific book. If you are already uh, using our library, you can also go to the, uh, the patron login in the top right corner, uh, which will enable you to see what books you've actually got out on loan. So I'll just show you that. Here we go. 
uh, and this has got my login already remembered here, but you would just put in your email and your password. If you've forgotten your password, you can click on need password and you'll be sent one uh, to your email immediately. So let's log in. And here we are. So this is my profile and I currently have this book out. Um, I haven't got any items on hold. That's where I might have requested something that was already out and I'd want to have it when it came back. Um, I can also look and see my history so I can see what other books I've had. And there's a list there of the books that I've, I've borrowed recently. So I'm going to log out from Libid now. So it takes me back to the home page there. Uh, and I hope that's really helpful uh, and that this, this has been a useful recording. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And I hope that you come and use our library either in person, but please do look online as well. Uh, and you can use that as a way to find if we've got a book that you want before you come and see us. Thank you.